This is Mark Glady. We're out here in western Minnesota in Chippewa County in a soybean field that's recently been chisel plowed and we're talking about fall nitrogen applications. Today is Friday, October 16th. I had 28 degrees air temperature this morning with a few snow flurries around. The soil temps a little while ago, earlier this afternoon, were in the upper 40s, so we're still below that 50 degree threshold, which is recommended for fall nitrogen applications. I've been getting two questions on anhydrous ammonia applications this fall, and they both revolve around the dry soil. Number one, can we seal the furrow? And number two, is there enough moisture there with, for the ammonia to react with to keep that nitrogen stuck to the soil? The first part of that question, when it's obviously so dry and we're in a very heavy clay content part of the field right here, if the soils are so dry we're pulling up rocks and boulders or clods and lumps that are this size, and I've got a couple visual aids here for reference, the basketball or a pumpkin, but these suckers are big and we all know there's no way we're going to close that furrow if they all look like this. All right, that's pretty obvious. But luckily, even in parts of the field that have big lumps and clods like this, there's still a fair amount of loose, crumbly soil that should fill in and close that furrow and trap that ammonia gas. Every field situation is going to be different. Uh, we can certainly get into areas where there's too many clods and we don't seal, but I think for the most part, there's, in most of our areas, there's going to be enough soil to, to cover up those furrows. The second part, or the second question that's been coming up this fall is, is there enough moisture in the soil for my anhydrous ammonia to react with to form the ammonium so it actually sticks to the soil? The first thing that happens when we apply anhydrous ammonia, NH3, is that it violently reacts with water, H2O, and the ammonia steals one of those hydrogens from water to make ammonium, which is NH4. Ammonium sticks to the soil. It's not going to be a gas form anymore that can be lost to the atmosphere. It's a form that's safe from leaching. It's not in the nitrate form yet. Ammonium is where we want to be to stick our the form that sticks to the soil. That's where we want. And even though soils look very, very dry, and it doesn't seem like there's much moisture in there at all, if we can look at this soil clod with a microscope and zoom in on an individual clay or silt or sand particle, we would see there still are small water films that are around those soil particles. And those small water films, even in soil as dry as this, still contain enough moisture to react with that ammonia and still allow ammonia to be formed. So even though our soils look dry, there's still enough moisture there for that ammonia to react with to get to the ammonium form and keep it stuck to the soil where we want it. My last comment on fall nitrogen applications, it's always a good reminder to please always use a nitrogen stabilizer with fall nitrogen. We're at least six to maybe eight months away from when our corn crop will actually need this nitrogen next summer and doing everything we can to protect that fertilizer investment to keep it out of the environment and make sure it still stays in the soil for our corn crop next year is a really good idea. Thanks for tuning in and good luck with your fall nitrogen applications.